Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today we're tackling a perplexing issue that many c MVC and AS.NET Core developers encounter. Our viewer is facing a challenge with date-time validation. Despite having two fields with identical code, one is working perfectly while the other is not. Let's dive into the details. To clarify the situation, our viewer has two date time fields, start time and end time. While start time validates user input correctly, end time seems to ignore invalid entries, reverting them to the current date and time. This leaves the controller unaware of any bad values, making it impossible to catch errors at that stage. After a week of troubleshooting, our viewer has tried switching the code between the two fields, but the issue persists with end time. They are reaching out for help, hoping to uncover what might be going wrong. Let's explore potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's begin by understanding the issue with the date time validation in your ASP.NET Core application. You have two fields, start time and end time, which are supposed to validate user input. However, only start time is functioning correctly. The problem arises when users manually enter invalid dates or times into the end time field. Instead of showing an error, the form resets the value to the current date and time, preventing the controller from catching the invalid input. To troubleshoot this, first, ensure that both fields are configured identically in your code. Check the attributes and validation settings for both start time and end time to confirm they match. Next, examine the JavaScript attached to your fields. The calendar picker script should be correctly linked to both fields. Ensure that the event listeners for both start time and end time are set up properly to handle user input. Finally, if the issue persists, consider adding custom validation logic in your controller to handle invalid inputs before they are processed. This can help catch any discrepancies that the built-in validation might miss. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To solve date-time validation issues in C-Sharp MVC, consider using the datetime.tryParseExact method. This method checks if a string date matches your specified format and returns an error if it doesn't. Here's a sample code snippet. You define a string date and attempt to parse it. If successful, you can use the parse date time, otherwise handle the error. The parse date method uses various date formats based on Australian standards. You can customize these formats as needed. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing issues with date-time validation in your C-Sharp MVC application, check if you're using model valid in your controller action. This could be the reason why your model is submitting even when validation fails.
and that's it. I hope that that's helped find the solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Every time you hit it, it really helps. Now, I'll see you next time. Next time you need some technical help. And until then, have a good one.